Um, why am I doing this? Well, because uh, the folks on the panel, right? Wendy, uh, hello, Starlight and Steph, seem to believe falsely that I actually made three donations and that they were out of spite, right? And hello, Starlight says that he's talking about you, meaning Wendy and other people he doesn't like. Really? Last night I did that? No, I didn't. <laughs> In fact, if you looked at my Super Chat donation, it said uh, for a birthday. It had to do with birthday. It didn't say Wendy. Is there anything negative? Yeah, by the way, hello, Starlight, do you have any receipts on that? You know, you're accusing me, right, of going after people I don't like. He's talking about you, Wendy, and people he doesn't like. Really? How about a receipt? Show me one. Anything. <laughs> I don't think you'll find one because it didn't happen. All right? I, you know what I suspect goes on around here? <clears throat> I suspect a lot of people just get um, short little clips and twisted uh, summaries uh, from, from your friends who want to create drama. That's what I really think happens. Okay? Where it doesn't even exist. How sad, Starlight. Well, I'll be waiting for your receipt, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I won't be holding my breath. But I didn't talk bad about Wendy at all. You're being dishonest. Or you heard somebody say that and you didn't ask them for receipts because there isn't any. Uh, and Wendy goes on to say, effing fraud. It claims you want this community safe. No, you don't. You just want it. others to love you and think you're so wonderful. Um, I don't know, Wendy. It sounds like you ate the whole jelly roll all by yourself. Are you serious? A little bit jealous there? I mean, if people like someone, is that enough to shame them? <laughs> is that what you're trying to do? Where is all that hate coming from? I'm serious. It's blowing my mind. You know? of Steph's live stream that she did last night. As we listened to Wendy try to climb inside my head and my heart and tell everyone what my actual intentions are. I mean, is that just a tad bit judgmental? Why don't we listen? There it is. And Stellar, you're dropping $100 donos on this bullshit, yo? Yeah, right. Dumpster right, Try to keep it in. Well done. Do the first one the safe, sir. Did so, he do it in the first um, live or the second know. live? Because if he did it in the first live, she didn't get that remember. shit. <laughs> Is it gone? She doesn't it get it oh, if it's been taken down. Terrible. Bullying and harassment. No, she won't get that super chat. It's just crazy oh. to me that he he's such the warrior for having a safe community. And he's over there reinforcing this absolute terror bully. What the fuck, yeah. Stellar? What the Shameful, fuck? man. Shameful. Well, you know what's really shameful is when you lie and you don't tell the truth. Both Steph and Wendy, did you notice they seem rather elated, very happy, very giddy that the Super Chat wouldn't go to Bombshell since it was uh, given in the first stream she did last night? Well, actually, surprise, surprise, it was the second stream. I wasn't present in the first stream at all. In fact, I didn't even know when it had gone on prior <laughs> when I came in. Um, but Wendy begins to judge my intentions right away. You know, she states, I'm over there reinforcing a terrorist bully. Really? <laughs> really? Is that what I did? When I, when I gave that super chat, I indicated why I gave it, and it was public. And on it, it said it had nothing to do with past behavior. I said it was for a birthday. Why did I give a super chat last night? I came into bombshells after it started. I was late. I didn't even know there was one that went on earlier in that day. But when I entered, there were people at that time giving her birthday super chats when I came in. And so I enjoy celebrating birthdays. And so I sent her a super chat. And I, I put on it, happy birthday. Was I wrong to wish her a happy birthday in that super chat? Was I spiteful or a hating on Wendy when I did that? No, of course not. Wendy wasn't in my mind, okay, at all. She's never there. In fact, on my super chat, I clearly stated, happy birthday to Bomb. <laughs> I didn't state, screw you, Wendy. Okay, did I? No. Uh, anyway, that was public. And the reason for my donation, essentially just, to, it was a birthday gift. That's all it was. Now, not everything has to do with you, Wendy. It doesn't have to do with you. If you want to, and you did, you want to try to twist it into a hate for you or someone else, that's simply not true. You know, I'm going to play a little bit more, another short clip. 
And um, this is uh, having to do a little bit of, uh, a, a little bit more of how you feel about me. Stellar so in chat with positivity is hilariously hypocritical. Amen. You're absolutely right. Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. It's actually funny to watch. It's stupid is what it is. Stellar, you don't have anything else to do with, with your evening except go in and, and support and give money to this absolute troll. What is wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> you just heard it. They're mocking me for my positivity. I, I mean, uh, how does that work? You're, you're mocked for your positivity? I, I guess they'd be more happy if I was negative. Is that how that works? Really? I did come on later. And um, that was after the second stream had already started. And I did give a birthday super chat once, not three times, as Steph was saying. And the rest of them all chimed in how horrible I was to give it three times, which I didn't. End of story. This is what this is about, a super chat donation for a birthday. Look what they've done. This isn't complicated. To twist my giving into something else is simply wrong. It's inaccurate. To make light of positivity, really? When I help someone? Or if you, you offer a kind word or give someone an affirmation, which people badly need. Or donate or send a birthday super chat. You know? I don't decide... Let me tell you this, Wendy. I don't decide at that time whether they deserve it or not. It's just a, a gift, pure and simple. I don't qualify it with the people, well, you're nice or you're not nice to receive my gift or to be treated with kindness. I'm not that petty. <clears throat> I'm not that small. And I've given to people at times I really haven't cared for that much. Maybe they weren't my cup of tea, but I don't give to... Uh, just people that I like. That's too small-minded. Many people need help. We don't have to like them all. Or just an act of kindness or affirmation to someone can really help their day. Why not? Why would that have to be the litmus test? You, I will not help you unless you pass my test. Well, no one's perfect. We've all screwed up, myself included. And if I only gave to those people who have a perfect record, well, there wouldn't be any giving, right? If I only engage with people who are perfect, it would be a very lonely night. It would be very quiet. I'd have no one to talk to at all. You know, and everyone we talk to has hurt someone, made mistakes, right? Done things they regret. Adults know we accomplish far more by showing patience. And not only patience, but challenge each other. But do it respectfully. Not like what took place last night. If someone's failing, help them understand that, but do it with dignity. This nitpicking on other people, you know, says far more about the one doing the nitpicking than others who already know they have their faults. We all know we have faults. And we also know we need to chart a new course from the way things unfolded last night. The dragging and abusive ad hominem uh, talk is counterproductive. And all of that, because keep that in mind. This is about me giving a single super chat. You know, how well has it worked out for us that we nitpick the way we do or that we drag people mercilessly? All the hateful, critical comments. You know, we don't feel any better about ourselves when we drag someone. We might fool ourselves into thinking that somehow it was justified. It's never justified. It doesn't accomplish anything either. It's beneath us. It doesn't produce anything that's good. What, what is our default behavior online? I'm sorry to say, for some, it's defensive and ready to attack. But for others, hopefully, and more will we'll join on this, is to be patient. Your default position is, is to approach that people can change. It takes our patience. And that sometimes we offer comfort, and many times we need to offer them challenge. Right? But in doing so, to maintain some type of humane behavior. I don't expect perfection in anyone. But I do expect honesty and sincerity. Right? When trying to be a better person. If someone's lying and twisting the truth and, you know, <laughs> that doesn't further the cause. Right? To heal us. 
we have to move from the whole Diane scandal somehow. And I know Bombshell is, she's far from perfect. Mm -hmm. So am I. And Wendy, so are you. You seem to think by associating with her is somehow morally wrong? Uh, no. No, I'll explain that. It was a birthday super chat, period. I wasn't bankrolling terror or bullying like you bu bullied me last night. Matter of fact, I challenge Bombshell frequently. I don't know if you know this or not, but I do. And sh she will tell you that. You know, I challenge her and her behavior. I do it on her live stream, and I do it privately as well. I imagine, Wendy, by your giving words of support and being up there on Steph's panel, that you're endorsing her going alive, right? Doing drive-bys? Is that what that means? I'm just asking. Or using the chant as she has white power or the R word in describing intelligence. I won't say what the R word is. Or the F word describing sexual preference. All pejorative. All against terms of service and community guidelines. I could. I have those uh, those uh, uh, videos queued up. I could play those clips. I prefer not to hear them again. All right, they're violations. They're not okay, Wendy. In a moment of rare honesty, let's admit there is wrong done everywhere by everyone. Wendy says you and others often refer to me as a man of God. Well, uh, for, let me explain something to you. All right, all of us are his children. I'm not the only man of God. We're all in that category, men and women of God, if you're a person of faith, right? And if, if you're not, if you're agnostic or atheist, then you have another kind of internal uh, moral compass that you go by. Bottom line for me, it requires challenging people. All of us need that challenge. I do. And I've tried to challenge Bombshell on her own live streams and privately. And I've challenged other people. And others have challenged me as well. And I, I'm grateful for that. Right? And if you're saying, Wendy, that you've challenged Steph, then that is a great decision. I hope that that is the case. My donation last night was not to endorse anyone's bad behavior. And it was not given three times, as Steph indicated, but once. It was a birthday donation. And I've made inroads with her for a purpose. My purpose is not nefarious, okay? But to bring about peace if it's possible. You know, it would have been a much uh, better decision uh, to contact me, Wendy, first, prior to launching a hate toward me as you did last night. A simple step of due diligence that could have avoided all of this, right? Unless this is what you want. I don't know. And I'm asking, is this what you want? Is it too much to ask you to try to uh, straighten things out ahead of time before you launch into hate? And also, you know, you might consider this. Keep in mind that the whole event began with, you know, a strong objection and criticism of one single Super Chat donation I made last night. Nothing I said on side chat was mentioned. Nothing I said on side chat was objected to. This had to do with money. Ka-ching, it had to do with money. Something to think about, isn't it? Well, I'm always going to socialize where I want to, where I'm, I please, and donate to whom I feel inclined to donate, right? Like any of us. You'll never hear me, though, Wendy, judging about whose company that you keep or anyone else. We're not the gatekeeper of this platform. No one gets to tell anyone else what, where to visit and who to visit and who to participate with and who not to or how to spend their money. No one gets to do that. I'm disappointed I have to issue a, such a basic reminder of what should be common sense. One final statement. I never have and I never will in the future be a part of a public doxing of any individual or a family, much less all the worse, a child being part of a dox. I will not only challenge anyone who embarks down that road and I will condemn it wholeheartedly. Uh, if I see it in online behavior, I will declare it as unconscionable, indefensible, and it doesn't matter what the circumstances are as far as I'm concerned. It's always wrong. 
And if I see that behavior unfold, if I see it happen, it will be challenged by me, regardless of who's doing it and where it's coming from. Well, you know, I just wanted to respond to what happened last night. And I, you know, think we're, we're much better than this. But again, uh, if it's finally getting through my thick skull that this is actually what people want, um, that, you know, they're looking for fodder. I remember over in the Boit, that was um, a term tossed around a lot. We need fodder. We need fodder. In other words, who, who are we going to drag tonight? Who's going to be picked on? Who's going to be the, the, the human pinata? So, you know, that's, that's kind of um, what I'm beginning to, to suspect. This is where it's all leading. There is no real sincere intention to um, uh, heal the community. It's just replacing one sick situation with another one. Well, there may be people who are going to go their own way. And I suspect that's what eventually is going to happen. Uh, what I mean by that is I, I think that, uh, at least for myself, there's a, a growing group of people who really want to kind of disassociate with um, the unnecessary drama that really brings with it uh, nothing but high blood pressure and, <laughs> you know, uh, angst. Um, and it, it doesn't do our health any good. It certainly doesn't do our spiritual health any good. And uh, I think that probably there will be, uh, not that there's a departure, uh, there's just uh, simply a decision to kind of live our lives a little differently, uh, meaning our online, online lives. And I think that's a good decision. And I hope uh, many people will decide to do that. Um, my suspicion is right now that, you know, there's a vacuum with Diane's channel uh, being uh, uh, essentially um, no longer wor workable. And the vacuum sometimes creates um, a regime worse than the one that we left. <laughs> and, uh, and so people are vying for power, uh, sort of like the uh, king of the hill. And if that's what's happening, well, that, that's what's happening. It certainly looks that way to me. Um, it has to do with uh, who's going to be on top uh, in terms of bringing in the people, uh, maintaining um, some type of revenue stream, uh, membership uh, that, that's growing, someone who wants to be on top of all of that. And their ego is involved and money is involved in all of that, of course. And, and that's kind of what it feels like is going on right now. I can't say for sure, but I highly suspect it. <laughs> so I'm not interested in that. And I just want to...